Hello everyone and welcome back to the cow plant challenge here in The Sims 4 with our uh, green family legacy and a very mildly distressed needs to go to the restroom generation 3 legacy heiress fern and you guys it is finally time finally time to take this farming life seriously no pun intended since my name is Siri but seriously because the cowberry farm challenge needs to come to a conclusion at the end of this week Fern needs to grow up and be ready to head out to become a veterinarian in Brindleton Bay I cannot believe that The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs is finally coming out and that we have followed the Green Family Legacy ever since the first day of its Sims 4 release to now when Fern is standing here inside of her dead great aunt Amelia's farm possibly going to visit with the ghost of her great aunt Amelia or is it Allison I always get it mixed up uh probably Allison I think her name is actually Allison but we're gonna probably visit with the ghost of great aunt Allison this evening and we are continuing to watch our wonderful generation three heiress absolutely blossom on the farm she's actually the happiest of the entire family right now her mother Devin is absolutely exhausted and has gone off to take a nap her energy is crashed out she's hungry she's not having a fun time because Devin has been taking on the task of trying to take care of all of these plants and get the farm up and going pretty much gardening wise all on her own two shoulders but now that they have gone out and they have dressed up and they have got these awesome gardening outfits on oh my gosh for an I'm so sorry I will let you use the bathroom in a second but this is kind of hilarious <laughs> she makes the cutest faces I swear but now that we have finally managed to get them all dressed up and Fern has actually been spending a lot of time bonding with Allison sure enough it was Allison not Amelia but <gasps> are we friends now Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I think we're friends with the ghost Allison now. You guys, you guys. That means next time we talk to Allison, we can unlock the ability to graft cow plants. I am so excited. Oh my gosh. And maybe we can even invite Allison into the family. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to look up what it takes to invite a ghost into the family. But anyway, Fern, now that she is properly dressed and she has been seeing her mom and dad work so hard on the farm and she's really started to bond and talk with Allison, she's beginning to realize that, hey, maybe, actually farming life and taking care of the farm has a lot of history it means a lot to her and she's actually learning she really loves the country life she really loves being here and one day my little darling we will probably make you a wonderful country vet and change the trajectory of the green family legacy forever but all right let's go ahead and let her use the restroom and we'll check in on the rest of the family amber is being absolutely hilarious by the way, because she has been upstairs bonding with bears. She's still in that phase where she wants to wear her bear outfit all of the time. This time she has changed from a berry outfit to a um, to an avocado bear outfit. And she also has been busy playing doctor. It's been building up her confidence and it has also been building up her empathy, which is pretty good because I do believe that her empathy actually was pretty low before. She tends to focus on responsibility responsibility she's really responsible she's the most responsible of all the kids uh we don't really have a lot going on aspen how are you aspen unattended toddler look at him go oh my gosh now that he can walk properly he is all over the place look at him he is outside he is gonna play with this thing uh pine is over here getting a phone call oh lily oh that's so cool normally we would go over so lily wants to know um Lily is actually watching the house for us right now. So it looks like Lily is actually calling from the house. That's really cool. So his aunt Lily is staying at their family home. This is not their family home. This is, you know, the farm that we're trying to save. But Lily is actually watching over the family home when we're gone for the summer. So we aren't going to go back and visit with her because I'm saying that we're kind of really far away from their home. And so this is a very long distance to travel. However, I do think it would be fun for Pine to go 
go ahead and talk to his aunt. So since she called, let's go ahead and chit chat with her. Pine is actually feeling better himself. He was having a really bad time. His fun was super duper low, but he decided to cloud gaze for a while because he's a very... He's my he's my very emotional boy and I love him so much and he's beginning to feel better So he's still cloud gazing, but when he's done I'll have him call uh, his aunt Lily and kind of work with her for a little while And then I'm gonna have I wonder if I should have his daughter cloud gaze with him What the heck happened in there? Is that gremlins or just what? Oh my gosh? All right, I think that Fern might have to go downstairs and tell her dad that like the master bathroom is completely destroyed And we'll have Pine continue to work on raising that handiness skill Which is oh so important to do so that we can finish repairing the household uh, Which will helpfully hopefully remove the filthy trait and so we can stop getting sick all the time And by the way, if you're not sure what I'm talking about when I'm talking about removing filthy traits and things like that Those are part of the personal challenges. We have given ourselves with the cow plant challenge so make sure you check the comment section for my pinned comment that will have all of the rules that we're trying to follow but basically once we reach handiness level six we will be able to repair the windows on the house and that will fix the entire farmhouse it was a complete wreck when we first moved in the walls were all shattered the wallpaper inside was torn up but once we fix the windows then we can get rid of the filthy lot trait that we have and we can swap it out for uh, the natural light or one of the more positive happy house lot traits So that's something I definitely want to work on hopefully today Maybe through just repairing things, but I'll have pine go upstairs. He, he might not even is that a ghost? Oh, no, it's just an avocado bear I was like, oh my gosh, the ghosts are already out here. What's happening? No, it's just our avocado bear <laughs> But I may have Fern or Pine, excuse me, actually go around and just repair things in the house to continue upgrading that handiness skill instead of do the word working. We'll have to see. But Fern is kind of going to be the star of the show today because she's realized that her parents have been working so hard on the farm. She actually wants to help out, especially now that she has learned that, you know, it means a lot to Great Aunt Allison to take good care of this farm. We also have enough of the frogs. In fact, we could go do that now. Oh my gosh, that'd be so exciting. We actually have enough of the frogs that we can go ahead and we can give all six of these frogs to the pond. And if we plant these mushrooms and grow mushrooms around the pond, then we can get rid of our gremlin problem by repairing the pond. So maybe we'll do that tonight because that definitely seems like a fern thing to do. Uh, in fact, let me go ahead and see if we can breed the frogs really quickly. Let's see. What's my rare, next rarest frog? Eggplant frog. And then what is this frog? This is a tiger frog, so let's try breeding a tiger frog and an eggplant whirl frog and see what we get. Yes, we got another eggplant whirl frog. That's really important right now because that actually means that actually means that uh, we could sell one, and that's really fantastic because we have literally no money. So all of a sudden, Fern is helping out the family by breeding frogs. Oh my gosh. All right, well, I'm gonna keep both of them so that we can try to continually breed the eggplant whirl frogs Is there like a frog? There is a frog collectible. I totally forgot about that Maybe she can go ahead which is bad because actually Fern was part of the ribbit society Which was a child club that we ran when she was a kid, but we'll have to see if we can complete the frog collection That would be kind of fun. All right. Anyway My beloved Fern. Let's go ahead and we will actually send her her fun is really low. You know what? She's been doing a lot of work, so I'm gonna actually have her sit down and I'm gonna have her write in her journal for a little while and see if that perks her mood up. And then tonight we will plant some mushrooms around the uh, destroyed pond that we have down here. It's kind of like a uh, cursed pond because all of the gnomes were neglected. The pond was neglected. And so the gnomes turned into gremlins, into evil gremlins. And so we needed somebody with four level four skill in fishing, which we now have. And we needed to plant a fairy ring of mushrooms around the pond and get six unique frogs. So six different types of frogs that we can release into the pond. And then dun, 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 we'll clean up the pond and we will be able to release the gremlin curse that we have and change it to a happy gnome uh, lot trait, which I think would be fun. All right, 
my my soft boy is busy staring at the clouds. How are his children? Independent as ever. Independent as ever. In fact, I think this little guy, he's using the potty completely on his own. He's probably almost ready to become a child. We'll probably have him age up to a child, and we'll have Amber age up to a teenager, and we'll have Fern age up to a young adult at the end of the cow plant challenge, which is probably going to be coming in the next couple days, but I will make a special update vlog about the cascade of cow plants that is on the way. All right, good. He's happy. I'm going to go ahead and have him. No. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and go to sleep. It is sleepy time. In fact, oh, that's so cute. Let's have Pine actually tuck him in. That actually sounds like the sweetest thing to do. Pine, you need to go upstairs and take care of your son. Oh, actually, Devin woke up. What does she want to do? Browse the books? Aw. Here, I'm gonna have her go ahead and read Aspen to sleep, even though she's really tired. And now that Mr. Pine is feeling like he's in a better mood, I do want to have him call his Aunt Lily because she called us and just chat for a little while and kind of like get the update on what's going on. See, yeah, he's like talking about moving. He's like, well, we've moved here for the summer, but how's the house, Aunt Lily? I really appreciate that you're taking the time to like watch over it. And I mean, he's a good guy, Pine. So he would he would try to spend a minute or two. Hey, Pine, I wanted to just take a cute picture of you. Why'd you have to throw me all the way on top of the roof, eh? All right, there we go. Oh, he just got the cutest smile. Oh, maybe I need more pine babies at some point. But I, I don't know if Devin would appreciate my my desire to see more of his cute children. All right, there we go. Where are we? Are you still doing stuff? What are you doing? You want to read about piano books? That's so interesting. Oh, and interestingly enough, writing in her journal did not add to her fun. That's interesting because writing in my journal definitely adds into my fun. Uh, should I have her swim here? What should I have her do for fun? Maybe craft a small plate out of the clay that's down here? Can, does that work? Let's have her come down and kind of like investigate the pond then by having her uh, craft a small plate. I just want to see what that does. All right. And then Devin, are you tucking your son into bed? You sure are. How's our avocado beer? She's doing good. Doesn't really have much to say for herself other than feeling like an avocado bear. And she wants to share ideas and I'll have her I'll have her play doctor for a little while, my little bear. She can just focus on playing doctor for a bit. There we go. Oh, and Devin <laughs> Aspen doesn't look that amused. But Devin's tucking the little one into bed. Alright, you're done talking with your aunt your aunt, right? Okay, good. Then you need to go upstairs, buddy, and you need to like start cleaning all of this up L like repair this buddy insta he could do an insta repair but i'm gonna have him like manually repair it so he can build the trait and then i'm going to have him clean that and mop this up there we go meanwhile what's going on over here were you able to craft that plate like ah dang it okay so that mod apparently is broken there's a really cool mod that i installed a while back called like the pottery mod i think it was from plastic box and it needs updated for all of the new updates coming out but it basically let you take the clay and turn it into pottery items and i thought that would be a fun way to earn a little bit of extra income apparently it's not working right now which is a pity but that's okay all right then maybe i'm gonna have her go ahead and swim <laughs> she actually does love swimming in this pond which I think is kind of funny, but maybe that's a fern thing. Maybe she just really adores like kind of swimming in lakes. I wouldn't recommend it myself, but maybe that's just something that she finds fun. In fact, look, she is getting a big boost of fun from this. <gasps> yes, and Pine has just reached level five of the handiness skill. His chance of electrocution while repairing is lower. Always a good thing. He can also perform basic upgrades on kitchen objects, craft large sculptures on the woodworking table, and brag about his handiness to other sims. We might let him brag kind of sweetly to his uh, wonderful Devin in just a little bit, actually. But yeah, look at this. She's just really happy. I, I feel like maybe that'll be something kind of interesting and quirky about Fern is that she loves swimming in lakes and at off of piers and she really loves the water. Uh, but not like ocean water. She just really likes ponds, things she can jump in and play in and not pools really. She prefers like the unexpected discovery of toads or frogs. All right, Devin, how you doing? Devin, take care of yourself. <laughs> All right, and then somebody's taking out the trash and like mopping everything up. Good job, Pine. You're doing good. You upgraded your your abilities. <laughs> yeah, so he's got to take out that trash. Then I might have him upgrade this toilet 
Uh, add bidet. Oh, he needs the extra parts to be able to upgrade it, though. Huh, I forgot about that, where you have to have extra parts if you're going to upgrade things. And then you can see over here, little Amber, who actually does want to become a doctor when she becomes older. She's really gaining a lot of empathy from playing with that little toy. That's really cool. Where's your empathy? Oh, well, I say a lot of empathy, but it's like tiny bit inching up, which is better than nothing, I suppose. All right, how are you, Missy? She's feeling, so basically, Devin is feeling like her genius is going unappreciated. So I think we'll have her hopefully get some fun baking a bunch of jam in a little bit. And out of everybody, Fern is hands down the happiest out of all of the household members. She is loving her life here in the countryside. Look at this. She just got a whole new moodlet that's completely focused on just enjoying a nice relaxing swim. That's so hilarious. She's about to level something up. She has so many happy moodlets. I can't even- She leveled up fitness! What? And now she wants to fish for an hour. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. All right, well, we'll let her go ahead and go upstairs and go to bed. She needs to get at least a couple moments of shut-eye before the ghosts start showing up for the night. Her mother is just feeling completely uninspired. All right, where's her father? All right, where are you going, buddy? Oh, he's off to try to dance. That's so cute. He's having a little dance party now that he's tried to fix things. And then we've got, oh, happy bonding over blocks. Oh, that's so cute. So she has a happy moodlet from bonding over blocks with her baby brother. Aw. All right. And then we've got Miss Energized over here who wants to help Amber with homework. Well, that's not going to work because she's out of school for the summer. She also wants to go for a jog. <laughs> she wants to be flirty with Pine. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna have her dance with Pine for a little bit. Maybe that'll cheer up Devin's mood. And then we'll let Pine brag. Oh, fine, Devin. If you need to go ahead and go to use the restroom. In fact, let's let her go use the restroom and then she can go talk to Pine and be like, I noticed the toilet's fixed, honey. Congratulations, guys. You've unlocked the, the adorable, mundane, yet somehow still lovely conversations of, of uh, married life together. Even though technically they're not married yet, but still. All right, like, come on, come on, come on. Um, I want him to dance a little bit longer. Oh, well, I guess he can go upstairs. All right, where's Devin going? All right, Devin's going there. I'm gonna go ahead and have Pine take a shower over here. Let's see. A steamy shower? I could let him take a steamy shower because Devin, Devin's wants are leaning a little bit romantic. Um. Here, you just stay there. Stay there. Okay, there we go. Devin's going to be over here to talk to you in a second. All right, so she wants to embrace him. Maybe that will get their fun up at least. Hold still, sir. Go back over here. By the way, this is your bed. All right, there we go. There we go. And yeah, Devin's feeling pretty miserable, but most of her needs are put back into the positives. And so maybe she can get a little bit of a boost being able to hang out with Pine for the night. Also, we really need to get them more money so we can start putting more things in this house. This is like the barest, emptiest house ever. Oh, wait. The barest? Do you get it? The barest house ever? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself. All right, let's see. Well, she's got a whole bunch of things she can turn into jam in the morning, which is pretty exciting. Um, and the reason we play through the night to you is because even though it drags out, like it kind of doubles how many episodes I have to make is because we run into so many ghosts and gremlins and things at night. And also just because I love this family. But all right, let's go ahead. Uh, I'm going to have her outfits change outfit. Uh, does she have like a just a normal night outfit? There we go. I'm gonna have them change into their sleeping outfits. Let's see, where is it? Just because they've had a very long day. I really want to signify they're done for the day. You know when you take off your work clothes and you're like, I am done? It, the work is now behind me. <laughs> Pine is talking about his... Oh dear, he's talking about um like his mood. Here, we're gonna have him brag about the handiness. There we go. Wow, you cannot buy a hot tub happy. yet, sweetie. It's just not going to happen. Uh, let's see. And you can't buy a hot tub either. Talking about the new outfits. Share ideas. That will make her feel better. Uh, because then she'll feel like deep conversation, banter with old friends. 
Where is share ideas? Express admiration. Hug, get to know, flatter. Share brilliant ideas. That will make her feel better. So I imagine that she's talking about how she's going to start really doing a lot of the canning. Hopefully that will really start pulling in a lot of money. Um, let's go ahead. Express admiration for having cleaned up so much of the house. There we go. You, you don't have a TV yet, but hopefully you'll have one soon. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Pine, pine. Hang on, pine. Wait, okay, hang on. Uh, pine. There you go. All right, so I'm going to leave these two to themselves for a little bit so that... No, pine, wake up. Pine. Pine. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to leave those two to themselves for a little bit to be a bit romantic, but that will hopefully get Devin's happiness up. And then let's see what's going on on this side of the house. Oh, we have another unchallenged genius. You know what I think we need? We need a chess table in this house, don't we? That would definitely calm down some of our geniuses who are getting a little bit antsy because they feel like their genius is unappreciated. So I definitely need to get a chess table at some point. Uh, let's see. Are you guys? Yeah, you guys are fine. All right. Now, the true question is, do I have any ghosties? And then hopefully what I can do is wake Fern up pretty soon. Where are you, Fern, my dear? There you are. But I'm really hoping I might be able to wake Fern up. Oh, she's having fun dreams and getting little spikes of fun while she dreams. That's adorable. And then is Devin happier? Devin is happier. Thank goodness. So that filled their fun up. I'm glad that they have each other to rely on. <gasps> what are these? Are those my apple trees? Just popping up like daisies overnight. Oh my gosh, the apple trees we made. Oh, who's this? What? We do have a new ghost. It's Jacqueline's, an old man. I don't know anything about him. He's popping up next to my apples though, so let's see what he's gonna do. What you doing, buddy? We have a brand new ghost haunting. All right, don't cause too much trouble. Oh, he took out a toy. Oh, he's playing with the toys. <gasps> See, it's so interesting to go ahead and just see what the ghosts are up to. I cannot wait until we have a chance to actually get to visit with uh, Allison one last time because hopefully we can get her to move in. I'm going to have to look up what it takes. Pine, why do you wake up in the middle of the night to take these baths? He usually falls asleep in the bathtub too. That's just adorable. All right. Well, let's see. Where, oh, I'm, oh, there he is. Okay. Keep an eye on the ghost. All right. Pine's also happy because their little toddler is growing so fast. This guy is just laughing to himself. What an interesting night. So I don't think Allison is going to visit because I've never seen two ghosts, unless it's like ghost night. I've never actually seen two ghosts visit at the same time. And this guy is just kind of like stomping around our house. Uh, what are you trying to do? Don't serve vegetable chili. Go to sleep, you silly goose. You just barely missed that ghost, by the way. All right, so I think our family is good, guys. Oh my gosh, what a helpful ghost. Okay, Jack Willis, I take back anything I may have I may have thought about you that wasn't kind. He just went around doing like doing a whole bunch of the dishes for us. That is so neat. All right, so you know I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have Devin, or excuse me, I'm gonna have Fern and Amber, the two girls, actually sit down and maybe chit chat in the library tomorrow. And you know, Fern might say, look, I'm helping mom and dad out in the, in the garden, but it's actually because of our great aunt Amelia. Could you look up how you could possibly become better friends with a ghost? And so we're gonna leave Amber to start kind of studying logic, um, and basically studying a whole bunch of her skills inside. Can, can children study logic? I think working on her mind skill then and her creativity skill, uh, but especially her mental skill. I'm going to have her start focusing on like her mental skill and see if she can build that up so that we can say that she's going to help her sister discover how to befriend a ghost. And then hopefully knowing how to befriend a ghost will allow us to actually move Allison into the family and she can run around and take care of the farm at night because we only have let's see i'm counting really quickly we only have a little over uh, about 14 15 sim days left <laughs> which is actually a lot but not when our cow plant thing is empty we still happen to have three out of the four or excuse me three out of uh, 
four out of the five huge clusters of boulders that need removed. We still need to finish fixing up the house and just in general, raising cow plants. So there's still a lot to do. I'm absolutely in love with this though. I think mixing together Ghost and all of these different challenges is just the most unique fun way to do it too. And I cannot wait to share more with you guys next time. So I'll see you all then. Bye-bye.